So here is test number two, number 18 rather. Uh, so we're given when two grams of NaOH is dissolved in 100 grams of water, the temperature of the water increases from 20 degrees Celsius to 24.6 degrees Celsius. So let's calculate the total change in enthalpy for the dissolving process. Specific heat of water is 4.184 joules over grams centigrade. And yes, so we need to basically find out the change in enthalpy. Uh, first disclaimer, I have my, I have some pretty bad allergies today, so just deal with my wheezing. Uh, okay, anyway, what is the unit for enthalpy that we're supposed to be using? Well, it's usually kilojoules over mole, right? So if, for example, here, we're given enough information to find out the amount of energy that uh, water here uh, will, let's actually say the amount of heat that water will actually absorb, right? Because we're given the mass, we're given the change in temperature, and we're also given the specific heat. We should know the specific heat of water. All right, so, um, but is that enough? It probably isn't. We need to set that over a certain number of moles, right? So let's just do this step by step. First thing we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna find the amount of heat, aka energy absorbed by water, right? And, uh, okay, so we have Q, which is heat, is equal to the mass of water times the specific heat of water times the change in temperature of water. Here's a reminder, change in temperature is actually your temperature final minus your temperature initial, all right? So let's plug in all the numbers they gave us in the problem. We have 100 grams, we have 4.184 joules over gram centigrade, and we have 24.6 Celsius, uh, degrees Celsius minus 20 degrees Celsius, right? This will give us our delta T. When you calculate all of this, we'll get 100, uh, sorry, 1,924.64 joules. But we don't want joules, we want kilojoules, right? So let's convert. So we're going to multiply this by 1 kilojoule over 1,000 joules. We're given 1.92464 kilojoules. Now, you probably don't need to have that many sig figs. I like to keep a lot of sig figs, uh, just so that way I can assure myself of accuracy. Anyway, so uh, the next thing I'm going to do, right, because I said that it's not enough to have kilojoules. This here is not the answer. If you go looking for this in there, you're not going to find it. But we're given another piece of information, is that we have 2 grams of NaOH. Well... We know that, for example, we have kilojoules over moles. Well, if we were to actually talk about enthalpy, the book does a terrible job at saying it, but let's say we were to write out this, uh, the equation for this reaction, which we obviously can't because all we know is we have NaOH. Well, actually we could because we have water as well. But anyway, that's, that's beyond the point. What I'm saying here is that for this particular process, all right, I'm going to be given a certain mass of NaOH. I should find out how many moles of NaOH I'm working with, right? Because if I work it out that way, and I say I have kilojoules per single mole, well then, the amount of energy that I'm actually getting absorbed by water here is actually the amount of energy that this amount of NaOH is allowing in this equation, right? Because we've seen an equation written out in a certain amount of enthalpy. Well, isn't it true then that if we know now the total amount here uh, that was at least absorbed by the water, that we should say that proportionally speaking, that's for this number of moles of NaOH, all right? So let's actually try to write this out so that way it makes a little bit more sense, all right? So we have to find the number of moles of NaOH we, we were given here. So we have two grams of NaOH, and we're gonna multiply that by the molar mass of NaOH, right? So that's one mole of NaOH over 39.998 grams. So I'm told that I have 0 0.05 moles of NaOH, right? So if I were to set this over this, what I'm really saying is, okay, I have 0 0.05 moles of NaOH. That's going to allow water to, or that rather, this is going to release in this reaction, right? This is going to release 1.924 kilojoules, uh, sorry, 1.92464 kilojoules of energy, right? Um, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted one mole, not 0 .05, sorry, 0 0.05 moles of NaOH, right? So then what I'll do is I'll say 1.92464 uh, kilojoules over 0 0.05 moles, and I'll divide it. That'll give me basically, all right, for each mole here, I should be getting however much kilojoules of energy, right? My answer in the very end, because I have three sig figs here, because uh, temperature had the lowest number of sig figs, we were doing a lot of multiplication here. This answer, you know, in real life should have been three sig figs with a fourth one in parentheses, right? So, you know, basically I'm going to keep my answer to three sig figs here, and my answer will be 38.5 kilojoules per mole.